at all because of my name. Think about this. You have someone like a master that you follow. You trusted this person so much. You believed in this person so much. And the person give, gives you this kind of instruction. Hey, because of me, everybody will hate you. Because of me, everybody will hate you. How would you feel about that? At first, it is not a good thing to hear that in my name, everybody will hate you. But then he gave them an assurance. Not a single hair in your head will perish. So even though you will be hated, you will be persecuted, you will be saved. Even though you will be hated, people will persecute you, people will reject you because of my name. You will be saved. As Christians, we cannot escape persecution. As Christians, we cannot escape people talking about us, trying to bring us down, trying to reject us, trying to shame us. But we should be confident in the assurance and the promise that Christ made to us, not a single head of yours will perish because you believe in me. That is our assurance. God can remove persecution. He can remove temptations. He can remove all the struggles, but he doesn't want to do that. He wants us to face those temptations, those persecutions. He wants us to be strong enough to stand in defense of our faith. Remember, he told them, do not prepare yourselves for defense. Do not prepare what you are going to say. I will be the one speaking through you. However, you have to prepare for those times. Those times of persecution must come. Those times of rejection must come. Those times of challenges that you will be brought to defend what you believe in, they must surely come. But God assures us he will be the one to speak through us. Do not prepare your defense. God is going to speak through you. All he asks of us is to stand firm and to persevere. If we persevere through the end, if we stand firm through the end, we will all be saved. So we ask God to give us the grace to be strong in times of persecutions, in times of distress, in times of temptations, and to always remember that he promised to be with us. I am with you always. I am with you always. May we not lose sight of God's presence in our lives. May the good Lord bless you and bless these words in your hearts. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you.